Going Bananas, a three-day art challenge. Last month, I could not resist jumping in on a quick three-day art challenge over on Fine Art America's Artist Discussion Board. Like most of the art challenges over there, this one has a theme, bananas. I've thought about doing a series of banana-themed fruit still life like my Apples and Oranges series for a while, so I figured this was my cue to just do it. Just to be cute, I am calling this short series Going Bananas, and intend to execute it in classic still life format as I see it. I should note that I have not abandoned the 100 Faces challenge. I am only taking a quick side quest, as the D&Ders would say. I'll also say that I successfully completed the challenge and just need to get caught up on blogging it. Finding Paintable Reference Photos I've probably mentioned before that what makes for a good painting reference is not always what makes for a good photograph. Hunting up some reference photos to use proved that. Most have softer lighting so that the subject can be seen as well as a two-dimensional image can allow. A good painting, on the other hand, works best with dramatic lighting, with a single light source, ideally. Dramatic lighting produces dramatic shadows, which a lot of photographers seem to avoid, but artists love. I did manage to find three photographs with more or less classic still life arrangement, and one that's more of a wild card that I may do as a bonus. I haven't done it yet. To answer a question I received in the comments on my blog post, the reason I went hunting for reference photos instead of getting some bananas to paint from life was simple laziness. I just didn't feel like going into town and dealing with the grocery store. Setting some clear objectives. I wanted to do this short and fun art challenge with some predefined objectives, which is military speak for goals. The cranky old army sergeant in me still rises to the surface from time to time. I knew I wanted to do somewhat traditional fruit still life paintings, so that cried out for a mostly traditional medium. Since I hadn't used my watercolor paints in quite a while, this seemed the perfect excuse to work in the watercolor. I did choose to use more modern pigments, and am happy with the results. Since only one of my reference photos had anywhere near the level of drama in its lighting, another objective was to see if I could adjust for that on my paper. My final objective was to utilize complementary colors. The obvious yellow and purple, but also some green and red where I could. Painting the bananas in my still life. With my objectives in mind, I went to work. The reference photo needed very little cropping, just a change in aspect ratio to match my paper. This first painting simply flowed, first from my pencil, then from my paintbrush. It was one of those days when every step went smooth as silk. In fact, I started the sketch at approximately 10.30 and was waiting for the final layer to dry so I could scan it before 15.30. Less than five hours from start to finish, including drying time, is a very quick and easy watercolor painting for me. Hubby says he loves how the green looks on the bananas, with the comment that this small bunch looks exactly like what I search for in the grocery store. Still a touch green. To contrast with the green, I chose to paint the plate as a reddish wood instead of the light color in the photo. Overall, I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. I feel I nailed both the color and the lighting, though I should probably at some point practice painting wood grain as that's the only part that I think needs improvement. It scanned even better than it looks in person, to my eye, my husband disagrees, but that's unusual for my work. Usually I just can't scan it right to how good it looks in person. Personally, I think my painting is better than the photo that I used for reference, so all in all, a good start to this new art challenge. How to purchase. If you have the right space for a 9 by 12 inch original painting, then click over to the listing at Daily Paint Works to handle the transaction. It's likely quicker than trying to hunt me down when I'm in a mood to be unplugged. Need a bigger and bolder version? I have art prints available through my pixel shop ranging from as small as 8 by 6 inches to uh, as large as 60 by 45 inches. So that should cover most walls quite nicely. You can also get jigsaw puzzles through this link. Want to wear my art like my mother and sister prefer? Click through to see the options at my Redbubble shop. 
There are also some home accessories, and yes, my favorite is still the analog clock. 